Time to do that thing YouTubers do from time to time. I'm going to talk about YouTube. Not that again, Uncle Mikola. Yes, that. First, a confession. I have never admitted this to anyone. You know why I'm standing in front of a clean blue background? Do you know why? Because I stole the idea from this guy, Michael Buckley. I just ripped him off. I, I was inspired by him. Michael Buckley, as you may know, lives and breathes pop and celebrity culture. He sees all, knows all, tells much. Very funny. Let, let's see who he's talking about here. In a new interview with Nylon Magazine, where she's posing in her underwear as oft Miley is these days, she says, people think that she was one of those kids on TV, and she goes off and parties, and she is just a ratchet white girl. I'm confused. You were on TV, and you do go off and party, so by your own definition, aren't you a ratchet white girl? That's Michael Buckley. He's entertaining, but more than that, He's good-hearted, supportive, and very positive with his viewers, and really influential in the community. Check him out. Something else I haven't told you before. I joined a network, full screen, and they said they'd send me money if I talked about Michael. Which I think is amazing, because I always thought if I was going to get Michael Buckley on my channel, I'd have to pay him. Okay, let's talk about YouTube. The shocker here is this is not a rant, not a whine. Call it a backgrounder. Flashback. 22 years ago, I was at Apple when QuickTime first rolled out of the lab. Video on a computer. Whoa. Back then, we tried to project forward and imagine what might come of the technology, and I can't say any of us came within miles, within miles of imagining YouTube, but we were pretty confident that millions of people of all ages would take up shooting and editing videos. But we were also pretty sure there'd be many millions more who wouldn't do that. And one of the metaphors we came up with for talking about that was the notion of pilots and passengers. Not everyone was going to grab a camcorder and climb into the pilot seat and start editing. There would always be passengers who would mainly be audience. They would just watch. And we figured the passengers would probably always outnumber the pilots. Fast forward. Now, the, the number of pilots is amazing. But I think we were right. Passengers still outnumber us. And that's the reality that the product people at YouTube are wrestling with. YouTube is quintessentially a long tail business. You know the long tail? Oh, you should. You should. This is, this is really helpful. The year before YouTube was founded, Chris Anderson, who was then editor of Wired, published an article and then later a book explaining the long tail. Any titles-driven business, whether it's TV, movies, books, music, games, always dominated by a few mega hits. There's a number one, the top 10, the top 100. And as you go down the chart, the farther out you go, the smaller the sales, the less money anyone makes. That's obvious. But what might not be obvious is Anderson's key insight. If you're running a physical store or a cinema complex, there's just so much space. You can only serve a limited number of titles. So if you want to make money, you want to sell the hits. But online, if you're selling digital goods, bits on servers, there's no practical limit to how many titles you can stock. As a seller, you don't have to worry about inventory. You can't over-order. You can't run out. Someone clicks, you serve them a stream or a download. A million people click, you serve a million. Now, creators who live out on the long tail, people like me, we're not going to see a whole lot of action. But imagine that you own the whole frickin' tail, which YouTube does. I mean, look at the volume of the long tail and compare it to the volume of the top channels. It's about the same size. I don't have YouTube's data. It might be a little bigger. It might be a little smaller. YouTube can sell nearly as much, maybe even more advertising, by aggregating the long, long, long tail as they can by monetizing the hits. But there are two keys to it. Signing up more pilots so you can make the tail longer, but also getting the passengers to stick around and watch another video and then another video, which makes the tail taller. A lot of the changes we've seen in the past two years are all about getting that extra view, that longer session. People active on YouTube like the word community. But let's face it, surrounding the community is frankly a group that is more accurately called an audience. They barely understand the UI. They don't want to take the time to figure it out. They don't subscribe. They don't leave comments. And one of the things YouTube is trying to solve for is how you get passengers to watch just a little longer. Because YouTube's real customers, the advertisers, will pay for that. So next time you see a change in YouTube, think of it from that perspective. Don't think about, oh, they're messing with the pilots. Think about whether they're helping the passengers. Should I go deeper on this? Is this a good topic? Let me know. See what I did there? You see how I brought you in? YouTube is training me. I'm going to get a fish for that. Until next time, I'm Mikola. Previously, 18 reasons to love Breaking Bad, zero spoilers, one typo. And from May of last year, a video I addressed to Michael Buckley and Hank Green it's about an anti-gay referendum in North Carolina. And I'm happy to say that since then, anti-gay politics just don't play the way they used to. The shutdown is shutting down, so here's my series on that. And in honor of my blue background and bucks, here's Billie Holiday, Am I Blue? <laughs>
please subscribe. Follow me on the uh, bird thing. Circle me on the plus thing. This is like playing multiple bingo cards. You will triple your chances to win. G54. G54. What do you win? My next video. It's on Friday and I'll update you on the shutdown. Looks like I was right about the Republicans caving. Looks like I was wrong about how quickly it would happen. We'll know for sure on Friday. Bye now.